Well, U.S. officials expressing concerns over retaliation from Iran's network of proxy forces in the Middle East, which includes Hezbollah and the Taliban. All of this adding to the uncertainty of any potential retaliation from Tehran. Garrett Tenney has more in this story from Washington. Garrett. These proxy forces are spread across the Middle East, and for the last 30 years, they have been a central part of Iran's strategy to exert its influence on the region. You can see some of the larger players in this web of influence on this map showing the groups Iran spends more than a billion dollars a year supporting with funding, training, and weapons. The largest and most powerful of those groups is Hezbollah, which relied on Tehran for weapons during its war with Israel back in 2006. More recently, tens of thousands of Hezbollah soldiers fought in Syria's civil war and succeeded in keeping Iranian ally Bashar al-Assad in power. Hezbollah has also trained fighters for other Iranian proxies, such as the Houthi rebels in Yemen. Late last year, the Houthis claimed responsibility for a drone attack on Saudi oil fields, though U.S. officials say Iran was responsible. The largest of Tehran's proxies, though, at least in terms of soldiers, is the Shia militias in Iraq, which U.S. officials have blamed for 11 attacks on bases in the last two months alone, including a missile attack just last week that killed one American contractor and injured dozens of others. And then there's Hamas, which has received as much as $300 million a year from Iran to help counter Israel. Real. The advantage of these proxy forces for Iran has been that they can carry out attacks and Tehran can claim it isn't directly responsible. But the Trump administration has changed that calculus, saying that Iran will be held responsible for any attack by its proxies on U.S. forces or interest in the region. Back to you. All right, Garrett Tenney, thank you very much. Eric.